Pakistan airport authorities now realize that the pilots are desperate, and if they don't allow IC-814 to land, it could crash on their soil. The ADC knew that my height is what? Then they thought he is going to really crash land this aeroplane. Then they said, now the runway is open for you, come on the runway. As I landed after a few seconds, I think, my right uh, engine was flamed out because there was no fuel. The captain's gamble has paid off. IC-814 has made it safely to Lahore. But the relief is only momentary. Back in the cabin, the injured passengers are slowly bleeding to death. If they are to have any hope of making it, they must receive urgent medical attention. But all the Pakistan authorities want is to get the aircraft out of their territory at the earliest. Please send a letter. There are injured passengers on board. I asked ATC. I begged for this. Please send the letter. I want my injured passenger and a few senior citizen, ladies, children to be offloaded here. They never agreed to this. They were very, very adamant. They said, you want fuel, we will give you fuel. But we will, we will no, never let you uh, offload any, any, anybody here. The Pakistanis didn't want to be seen, uh, seen as, as having anything to do with this. Um, and eventually the plane had to go there because it couldn't go anywhere else. They were very keen to get it off their soil. Less than three hours after it landed in Lahore, the beleaguered plane is airborne again. in India, rumors that some passengers have been killed by the hijackers spreads panic amongst the crowds that have gathered at New Delhi airport. The hijackers now want the captain to set course for Kabul, Afghanistan. We have been hijacked and are heading towards Kabul. But Kabul has no night landing facilities, and so the hijackers force the pilots to fly the aircraft to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Somewhere in the night, Ripon Katyal, who's been bleeding profusely since he was stabbed by the hijackers, breathes his last. Having missed the opportunity to storm the plane on their own soil in Amritsar, the Indian government now makes an attempt to get the United Arab Emirates authorities to allow a commando operation in Dubai. The government of UAE, the local authorities in Dubai, were not at all, not at all, willing to permit any commando action. That is to keep the aircraft there for a period which would allow us to send commandos from India. The UAE authorities, however, get the hijackers to release some of the passengers in exchange for fuel. The injured passengers, too, are let off the aircraft. On ground at uh, Al Minhat, uh, we'd been there for about 10 minutes when uh, Burger walked up to me and says, Get up. 
I obeyed him. He went into the jail class. So I looked down. I found a young man who was shirtless and had a lot of blood all over him, lying on one of the seats. My heart was pounding away furiously, and I actually was uh, frightened for my dear life at that point of time. The body of Ripon Katyal has been taken off the aircraft, but his bride Rachna, who is still on board, isn't even aware that her husband is dead. We were ordered to place the body on the top of the step ladder, which had been positioned at the first door. As the released passengers make their way to the arrival terminal, IC-814, which has been refueled, takes off once again. Its destination, unknown. It's Christmas. But for the 162 passengers and crew still remaining on Indian Airlines flight IC-814, there is little reason to celebrate. It's been almost 18 hours since the aircraft was taken over by five heavily armed hijackers. One passenger has been killed, another injured. But the nightmare just got a little more complicated. Unknown to any of the passengers, IC-814, which had been flying north through the night, has landed in Kandahar, Afghanistan. A country controlled by the Taliban, a fundamentalist Islamic group. And the current home of the dreaded terrorist Osama bin Laden. I could see open uh, Pizarro was coming towards the aircraft. They just came to near the uh, aircraft. They just waved like this. Waved like this. And Chief Hijacker was looking at them. And he also just waved like this. That time, I was totally zapped. I said, now, inside also, hijackers and outside are terrorists. It's 18 hours since IC-814 was hijacked, yet little is known of the hijackers. Who are they and what do they want? From the accounts of passengers released in Dubai, Indian intelligence agents are convinced they are dealing with well-trained and highly motivated terrorists on a suicide mission. In the back of my mind, I had a lot of Suicide, uh, suicide missions which had been undertaken by the Islamic fundamentalists and the militants there in Kashmir. The organization of Harkat al Mujahideen was having in its cadres the people who were capable of undertaking their suicide missions. These people were bent upon harming the passengers. These people were quite determined to blow up the plane. Back in India, hundreds gathered for.